brought to you by wikivd.com. Matt Bianco Matt Bianco are a British band that was formed in 1983. They are mainly known for their success in the mid-1980s and the jazz, Latin-flavored music. Very popular. During the mid-1980s in continental Europe, the name suggests that Matt Bianco is a person often assumed to be an alias for the main constant member and frontman, Mark Riley. But Matt is in fact a made-up spy, a secret agent. We loved spy TV themes and film scores. Early Years Matt Bianco was initially formed in 1982 by Mark Riley, Danny White, and Quito Ponzioni, all of whom had just left art pop group Blue Rondo A La Turc. Also on board, from the beginning was then unknown Polish vocalist Basia Trzepcilewska. Initially, the band was known as Bronze, before settling on the name Matt Bianco in 1983. The group was pictured as a quartet for their first single. Although Ponciani only played on the non-album B-side, Big Rosie. Ponciani then dropped out of the group before the recording of Matt Bianco's first album, 1984's Whose Side Are You On? For the album, the group was officially a trio of Riley, White, and Trzetsilewska, although he does not appear on the album in any capacity. Ponciani did receive a co-writing credit on the track, Half A Minute. Whose Side Are You On? spawned several UK and European hits, including Get Out Of Your Lazy Bed, More Than I Can Bear, Half A Minute and Sneaking Out The Back Door. As well, the title track, while not a hit in the UK, was a minor hit in Canada and Australia. Barshia and Danny White, who subsequently formed a romantic relationship, left the group soon after the first album to pursue a very successful international solo career. For Barshia with Sony on the Epic label, Riley found two new musical partners, Jenny Evans became the new female singer for Matt Bianco, contributing mainly backing vocals and lead vocals on two album tracks and X-Wham and second image keyboarder and session musician Mark Fisher became White's successor as songwriter and producer, and the band's keyboard player. This lineup recorded the Matt Bianco album, which was released in 1986 and contained the hit, Yeah Yeah. Riley Fisher Duo Years With the addition of Mark Fisher, the sound changed considerably. Fisher, a keyboardist, composer, and studio wizard, contributed a more contemporary sound, compared to that of the early Matt Bianco. The use of synthesizers increased notably, Yamaha's DX7 can be heard providing the slap bass in most songs, but the choice of noted studio musicians remained consistent, with Ronnie Ross being the most prominent example. After the first album with the new lineup, they took a 13-piece band onto a European tour that saw them perform in front of an audience of more than 250,000 attendees in total. In 1984 they appeared on the BBC TV morning show Saturday Superstore and were infamously subjected to a brief torrent of Valletta abuse during a fan phone-in which could not be cut as the show was live. Jenny Evans left the group shortly after the recording of the group's self-titled album and was not replaced. Matt Bianco was now a household name in Europe, and Warner Brothers sought to market them in the United States. They hired Gloria Estefan's husband and producer Emilio Estefan to produce a few songs and recorded their third album, Indigo. With the Estefan productions being chosen as singles, 1988's Don't Blame It On That Girl and Good Times only made a moderate impact. What Bam Boogie, an album track originally on the B-side of the first single, which did well on the dance charts, 
and pushed the joint single release up to number 11 on the UK singles chart, making it Matt Bianco's most successful single, their first greatest hits album. Entitled The Best of Matt Bianco, collecting their greatest hits from 1983 to 1990, was released in 1990 and made the UK Top 50. Another studio album was released in 1991 by Warner Brothers, The Fractured Samba in Your Casa, the fourth long playing by the group. Riley and Fisher then split from their record company and went freelance. From then on, they recorded their albums in their own studios, and then offered them to independent distributors worldwide. They scored contracts with ZYX Music and Intercord in Europe and Victor Entertainment in Asia, but failed to sign on with another major label. The next albums did not sell well in Europe, but they created a loyal fan base in Japan and the rest of Asia. The albums Another Time, Another Place, Grand Via, World Go Round, A, Collection, Rico, and Echoes sold well enough for a comfortable lifestyle in the southeast of England. After 20 years recording and touring, the two split amicably. Reunion of the original trio lineup Initiated by a mutual friend, Bashir and Danny White joined with Mark Riley to reform the original Matt Bianco in 2003, signing to the MRC label. In 2004, Matt Bianco released the album Matt's Mood. The album featured adult contemporary jazz numbers. In the spirit of their first album, the following year they embarked on a world tour which included stops in the UK, Japan, and the United States. Present After the success of Matt's mood, Bashir and White left Matt Bianco again. To reinvigorate the Bashir brand, Riley reunited with Fisher, and Matt Bianco were back as a duo. Three compilation albums were marketed between 2005 and 2008, including The Best of Matt Bianco Vol. 2, containing many of the Asian tracks, which were so far only available in Germany for European fans, and the re-release of the original 1990 The Best of Matt Bianco, featuring their European hits. From 1983 to 1990, in May 2009 Fisher and Riley released their first album as a duo for eight years in Europe, the UK and Japan. With Hi-Fi Bossin over the band secured a recording contract with Edel Music in Europe and continued their cooperation with JVC Victor in Japan which in November 2012 bore fruit again. With the release of the latest album Hide Away, Without Fisher, Riley recorded a five-song EP with New Cool Collective in 2016. The Things You Love EP featured re-recordings of several Matt Bianco tracks. The collaboration was billed to New Cool Collective, Mark Riley, Matt Bianco. Mark Fisher died on 12 December 2016. The official Matt Bianco site makes it clear that Riley intends to carry on under the Matt Bianco, Banner, indicating that a new album is in the process of being recorded. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.